Hello all, Eric Hoxter here, and uh, I have another uh, Blitz chess game going, and I just ended up picking this up on Lee Chess 10 minutes with a 5 second increment, uh, and I'll go with my uh, QGD, or maybe a, uh, oh, Benoni, great, I don't like playing the white side of the Benoni. If you saw my recent chess process, uh, thought process video, you'll see I made a pretty odd error when I played Knight C3 first. And then after my opponent took on d4 with his pawn, I took back with the queen, he developed his knight, and then I was just playing down a tempo. So I think I'm going to play knight f3, and then maybe get into a casual lane. Maybe not. Uh, I'm thinking knight c3 here and then e4. I want to feed and chat on my bishop, but I don't think, I don't think it's worth it. Um... Knight c3, e4, b3, bishop b2. But I'm thinking about all my moves and nothing about my opponent's moves. So knight c3, e5, take on c6, b takes. Let's see how it pans out. Yeah, I, I think I will trade knights here. And then just develop my on e4. Yep. I can't believe I predicted that. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a pretty natural sequence, but still, I, I pride myself on <laughs> on uh, accomplishing things like that. I enjoy it. Um, so he's just looking to get castled. Maybe I should help develop my bishop to d3 and just provide a stronghold in my PNC pawns. I want to play b3, bishop b2, but that may be too slow. They already committed their bishop to a passive square, so I'm not worried about pinning and having to uh, take care of that. So I think I will. It's not really being attacked, but my opponent's going to play d5 at any time. Uh, not right away, but I know eventually d5 will come, but I'm trying to take a huge hold of that square. Yep. So then I'll develop my bishop to... Interesting. Oh, then they're going to put their bishop on a... On a... b4. So what if I play a3? I know that looks weakening. But I'm not looking to castle or do anything on this side. Just stopping his bishop from coming in and threatening to move my queen on up. Or my uh, my b pawn. To attack his queen, rather. And my a pawn is defended twice, so I'm not worried about that. So now his queen looks a little bit silly. I think, anyway. Pawn controls these squares, my knight controls the squares. Pawn controls the square, my knight's here. So maybe I'll be looking for tactics against this queen in the near future. These are kind of things you may see in like a, a tactics trainer, whether you're on Lee Chess or Chess.com or uh, Chess Tempo or, or any of those websites. Uh, a lot of them, a lot of the tactics, while they are force checks and uh, leading to winning material, a lot of them are uh, about track pieces. So maybe I can spend some time looking into that. Um, so what if I just chased it with knight a4? Knight a4, check. Eh, it doesn't really seem worth it. Hmm. Maybe I should just develop my bishop and go and continue my plan the way I was going to. Uh... Because he plays, he can't develop this one to have his bishop defend the square so his knight can come to it. So there's no threats against f2. So I think I'm just going to develop. I'm wasting a bunch of time here. 
and then get castled. Uh, but I just want to know what I can do about his. Hmm. So he's going for broke this guy. Um, you know what, playing bishop or bishop d3, I kind of disregarded d6 anyway. Uh, so he could have played that. But uh, this is obviously more aggressive. Um, but I can just castle into this. And my rook's defending. But now he can play d6. If he plays d6, I'll probably play uh, b4. D6, B4, Bishop D4, oh, or maybe I can get away with, uh, Queen a4 now, or a knight a4 now. Knight a4, where's the queen going? Can't defend the, uh... oh, well, can go to a5. I'm doing it anyway, just because I don't like these pieces. I am regard disregarding my e4 pawn with this, but I do have a tempo on the queen. Uh, so he has to address that first, which I uh, am glad to uh, attack. Um, it's an interesting position to me. I, I don't really understand the ins and outs of everything in here. Um, but I just want to get rid of that bishop, which I think I'll go ahead and do, and then look to open the position. Um, queen a5, knight takes c5. Queen takes c5. Or if he just disregards taking with the queen and just takes on e4 right away, then what? Interesting. Can't say I understand that. Um, C takes D five. And then rook C one. I think is a good move. Um, yeah. I really like my position now. I don't see what's, uh, I, I just, hmm. I really like this. I think that was a bad decision to sacrifice the bishop just to move the queen when they could have moved the, uh, they could have played queen a5. Oh, uh, you know what? Queen a5. Uh, let me go back. Yeah. Queen a5. Bishop c3. Yeah, and then I gotta put their queen on a6 and they drop. Alright, queen d6. Hmm. I wish I could take right away. Put my bishop on, uh, on e5. <laughs> what to do? I can't move my bishop right now because I'm dropping the ape one, my dark square bishop. I don't move my king in the corner. I'm not really worried about any any pins. I take here, if he takes with this queen, uh, I'll, I'll take on h7. Whoa. Can't say I like that move.
maybe rook c3 or c6. I really like this move. Rook c6, and you still can't take my pawn because the bishop takes h7. What would you play with black here? This position is just looking a little worse and worse, and being down material, he's trying to be a little aggressive, which is understandable. Um, maybe now I can do something with this rook in the corner. Not right now, but... Hmm. I just need to get my rook out of harm's way. My pieces aren't really functional. They aren't uh, working together. Yeah, I mean, I'll just move back. Now he'll probably play e4. Threatening h2. Yeah. Um, then I just push my pawn. And he take, he gets his piece back, but my pieces are really active. Yeah, I only have 4 minutes and 19 seconds. I'm a little down on the clock. Uh, I tend to think a lot more when I'm commentating out loud, um, so it's, it's, good, it's a good exercise for me, but it's also a, uh, gives me a lot of trouble sometimes. Yeah. But I really like this. And I'm guarding uh, E2. I wanted to, I could ignore that or protect my look of my queen. And go ahead and main at the same time. Let's do it. So you can take my rook if he wants to. I'm obviously not going to take back, I would just play checkmate on g7. Very interesting sacrifices here. Um, very aggressive play. And uh, I just find myself on the better end of it in this game. Uh, and I think if I can just stay up on the clock. I'm playing with a trackpad and not an actual mouse. So I really need to stay up on the clock in this one. Ooh. Try this move. I was going to play Queen C4 check, but uh, I don't really have a lot of time to think of my, my candidates. Three minutes and 30 seconds is a lot of time, but when you're not playing with an actual mouse, it's not. Which is why I've been hesitant to make videos recently um, and in the past few months. Just because my laptop can't really handle it. Uh, but I should be buying a new computer soon. I just got a pretty decent. I picked up a job overnight and um, I picked up a couple of new. Uh, clients to write for it. If you're not familiar, I do copywriting during the day and I help a lot of freelancers and uh, solo entrepreneurs with their marketing strategy. Uh, and I picked up a decent sized client, so hopefully this can net me a new laptop or a new desktop. Um, I think I might just invest in a des desktop and redo my office. Um, let's see. So my rook is a beast. I really have full control of the C file. Maybe I can consider playing, uh, no, damn it, oh, never mind, I thought it might, never mind, I was looking at that square, uh, you know, a four. There are things to look out for, but it just seems like, interesting.
Uh, you know what? Maybe I should have taken first. Put my pawn and then check. Yeah, and pretty soon I'm going to double up my rooks and push my pawn forward. These pieces are pretty awkward, but mine aren't doing much better. Um, interesting. Queen d4. Queen takes b3. Queen takes b3. I think I should just look forward to converting my d-pawn and trying to keep that as safe as possible. Yeah, I still worry about these uh, these forks. I know the knight's not on the right square, but just thinking about the distance, I always try to consider what's two squares away from my king and where their knight is. Uh, because if you consider what pieces are two squares diagonally away from your king, you should always use that as a guide to just look for potential forks, um, especially when time starts running down. Hmm. Maybe if queen takes b3, rook takes a7. Queen takes b3, rook takes a7. Ninety three. Ninety three, okay, truck. Hmm. I don't want to make this a super long video, so I'm not going to go back and go over uh, this. Oh, I played him twice before and I won. Wow. Uh,. This was back when he was 1578, and oh, I can't see the first one for the reason. Oh, that's, yeah, that was a while ago. And we played a 10-5 game then, too. Um, I think I'm just going to, maybe I can take the knight. I don't know if I'm going to pin duck. Try this, and maybe I'll be looking to play a4 so I can move my bishop somewhere else where it's not being attacked. If he plays knight e5, I'm going to take it with my bishop. He does not. I feel like this is very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, rookie eight, rookie eight, queen, rookie eight. I don't even know if that's any good. I'm pretty down in time. Uh, I think I'm going to try and make it simple. This 
So I do have these two pawns here. Uh, we gotta worry about his knight coming in and his rook coming into this rank. Uh, and attacking everything. Attacking me for everything I'm worth. If he does, should I just should I move my bishop or should I just take the knight? Oh, knight question's answered. Um Do that because you can't move his rook. As tempting as it is, you can't move his rook. So maybe I'll look up to around this pawn, his b pawn. And push my a and b pawns. We both have four pawns, and his majority here needs to be protecting his king, whereas these, my A and B pawns, can kind of roam up the board almost as they wish. So in fact, I think I'll, if I take, I'll end up uh, playing rook d8. Even if he pushes his pawn, I think I'll play uh, rook b6. But if it plays rook b8, uh, I don't know, but they don't have that same back rank threat. Because now, if I played, if his rook moved, and I played, yeah, and if I played uh, rook d8, he has the square. Do -do 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 -do. Try this. Uh, now we can't threaten a check here. Thankfully. Still liking my position, I'm just not liking my time. Um, now my bishop kind of boxes out his knight, like we were talking about with the pin, uh, or with the uh, the fork. When your bishop is two squares directly behind the knight, it's easy to kind of just get behind him and, and block him out from going to any squares. Bother. Let's try this because the knight really can't go anywhere. G5 and we trade. I think that is the best option. I want to trade. No, I'm down a pawn. Uh, rook a2. Now he can play his king out if he wants to. Uh, yeah. Wonder if I can make this a draw. Bring my king inside. If I can play my king up, I can have a checkmate. Right. Uh, 
what I'm going to take. I don't know if I could have won that game. I'm just telling a good game. It offers me a draw. Um. Oh, you know what? He beat me in the first game. He was back. Uh, analysis board. So I lied. I'm actually going to go through the game anyway. What else could I have played here? Uh, knight f5. I don't know if that was any good. This looks like my knight's out of play. Now I have almost like a almost like a Roxy Vine kind of deal. Um, except my knight's gone, obviously. And there's a ton of Sicilian. So maybe I slow play this a little too much, but I still like my position. I wonder if it was worth going A4. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, uh, it's not gonna. I put the put on the engine, but I don't think it's gonna put up my line. Um. Yeah. Guess instead of castling, what could I have done? Almost nothing. Um, queen e2 or f3. Queen e2 or f3 then d6. Yeah, I really like this. Didn't like that move. I think he should have just played. Let's see. Can't take. Yeah. Maybe should just bit the bullet. Move the screen back. Yeah, this I liked, and from here on, I really like my position, but I started to go wrong, um, and I'm trying to find where that move was. But this, I've taken over the open file, uh, maybe I should have considered putting my rook over here, putting my rook over there. Turning checkmate and something like that, but then he just takes my bishop and we're back to even material. Yeah. So I guess what I did wasn't so bad in hindsight. Yeah, so I still had that problem. There were just a lot of threats going on. Black had the initiative big time. And I didn't really realize it during the game. Yeah, maybe it just started going wrong here when I didn't really have an attack. And I was saying maybe I should play that move. Yeah, I'll always take the bishop. Offered a clean trade. I wonder. Yeah, 
here then what? Take. Consider that, but I guess that would have been better. I'm just assuming there would be a bunch of trades. Uh, but then in the end, that is this. Or even instead of that, I could take his knight. Because his knight's hanging for <laughs> many moves there. You know, this is what happened. Yeah, here he's just still able to make threats, and I didn't really know. I was down to about a minute here. Or a minute and some change, a minute and. 30 some seconds, I think. I think. I wonder if I just moved my rook. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I should have played my king up. I don't know what difference that would have made. Yeah, I just... I didn't want to trade. Yeah, so here I just mindlessly played my king up and I didn't even try to move my piece around. I had another move I definitely would want my king to be in. Um, yeah, and if I do anything else, I mean... Yeah, I guess he was just afraid that he might blunder the endgame away, or maybe it is a draw, I'm not sure. Either way, this was a uh, pretty interesting game. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll be back with a few more. I'll record a couple in advance, uh, or, or just do them. I don't know how I'm going to do them. They'll come up. I'm going to try to do them at least uh, every day, if not every other day, um, in combination with my other material and stuff that I'm going to do in videos and uh, convert to blogs and stuff. And I have other presentations and lessons and things I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way. Um, but that's all from me. Uh, until next time, be well, my friends.